Hello, my name is Shauna Bennett and today we will be discussing the evaluation results of Jane Murray. Jane Murray is the 12 year old daughter born October 29, 2004 of Jack and Carla Murray. She attends the Green School District and is a 5th grade female. She is also part of Miss Dana Smith's resource classroom. She received 60 minutes of special education time for literacy a day and 60 minutes of math special education time a day. She does not, however, re receive any related services such as speech, occupational therapy, or physical therapy. Jane resides with her father, Jack Murray, and older brother, Larry Murray. She also has an older brother, Jim Murray, who lives with his grandmother and his mother. Jane has very little contact with her mother, Carla Murray. Jane was born after a high-risk pregnancy and was born with a heart condition and club foot. The heart condition cleared up on its own. Jane's father reported that she met developmental milestones at a quicker than average rate. Jane has no prior diagnosis but is diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactive, hyperactive disorder or ADHD. She is placed in special education under the classification of other health impairment or OHI. Jane has attended the Green School District from kindergarten to third grade. She relocated to the Red School District in third grade, but came back to the Green School District in fourth grade. Jane, Jane's last evaluation was March 21st, 2015. She is up for a new evaluation before March 21st, 2018. Jane reads at a DRA level of 12, which is roughly a first grade level. She struggles with reading and has confidence in her math skills. For her last comprehensive evaluation, Jane was given the Weschler Intelligence Skill for Children 4th edition. She was tested under the subtest of Verbal Comprehension, Perceptual Reasoning Index, Working Memory Index, Processing Speed Index, and in the Full Scale. Her Full Scale IQ was a 72, which gives her borderline of intellectual disability. She was also given the Wessler Individual Achievement Test 3rd Edition. Her uh, subtests were Early Reading Skills, Reading Comprehension, Word Reading, Oral Reading Fluency, Math Problem Solving, Numerical Operations, and Written Expression. These, none of these scores were over 70, which means again she has a borderline intellectual disability. Um, because the scores were so much lower than the average rate of 70. Uh, she was also given the Peabody Individual Achievement Test. The subtests were General Information, Reading Recognition, Reading Comprehension, Mathematics, Spelling, and Written Language. On this one, her lowest score was a 58 in General Information and her highest score was an 82 in Spelling. The 58 uh, is below the average rate of 70, but the 82 was average. The last test she was given on the full comprehensive evaluation was the Woodcock Reading Mastery Test revised. The subtest included letter word identification, passage comprehension, oral reading, sentence reading fluency, reading fluency, broad reading, spelling, writing samples, and written language. She was below 70 on all except for writing samples. This means that on the writing samples she was below average with an 83, but on the other ones that were very uh, severely below average. So the first test, like I said, that Jane completed was a Weschler Intelligence Skill for Children 4th edition. This is an individually administered test of intelligence appropriate for ages 6 through 16. The subtest of this test find an overall full skill IQ level of a student. The subtest are verbal comprehension, perceptual reasoning index, working memory index, processing speed index, and full scale. Jane scored a 72 on the full scale IQ subtest of the Wechsler Intelligence Skill for Children 4th edition. This means that Jane is borderline intellectual disability. The Peabody Individual Achievement Test Revised is the next test that was given. This test was administered to provide additional achievement in general information, 
reading recognition, reading comprehension, mathematics, spelling, and written language. Jane scored borderline intellectual disability on all of the subtests except for spelling. This test is appropriate for students ages 5 to 18 or grades kindergarten to 12th grade. This examination also uses materials that is appropriate to age level to age or the level of accomplishment. Jane is well below grade level in literacy and math. She is on the first grade level in math, comprehension, reading recognition, and written language. The Woodcock Reading Mastery Test revised is the next test. This test was administered to provide a measurement of several important aspects of the reading ability using a sequence of tests. The sequence of testing included letter identification, phonological awareness, rapid automatic naming, word identification, word attack, word comprehension, passage comprehension, listening comprehension, and oral reading fluency. This test is appropriate for students in kindergarten through 12th grade. Jane scored extremely below average on all items of this test except for writing samples. This data supports that Jane is borderline intellectual disability. Jane's deficit includes letter word identification, passage comprehension, oral reading, sentence reading fluency, reading fluency, broad reading, spelling, writing samples, and written language. So this report states that Jane is severely low in all aspects of the full comprehensive evaluation. The report states that Jane is severely below average in comprehensive comprehension. There is no doubt that the data supports Jane is severely below average in comprehension, but I wonder how long she got to read the passage. I also wonder what grade level the passage was on or if it was read to her. She may be able to comprehend, but not be able to read. The first... Thank you.